This is my final project Bible reflection by Amanda Jimenez. Okay, so for the Pentateuch, I drew um, a hand like out trying to reach out for the apple in the Garden of Eden with the serpent in the tree. And the verses are Genesis chapter 2, verses 4, all the way to chapter 3, all the way to verse 24. And for the brief reading, I'm going to do Genesis chapter 3, 6 through 7. When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some of it and ate it. She also gave some of the food to her husband who was with her, and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were open, and they realized they were naked, so they sewed some fig leaves together and made coverings for themselves. And the importance of this is how it shows the beginning of mankind, since eating the apple showed to both of them how, like, oh my gosh, we should be covering up, and it kind of made them embarrassed to be naked in front of each other. Based on that, it's almost as if, like, they gain consciousness of themselves and each other, which is important since it was the fall of mankind and was the leading factor to everyone being born with sin. Now for historical books, I drew when King David was about to die and he was giving instructions to his son Solomon. And the Bible verses for this is Kings 1, chapter 2, verses 1 through 11. And the brief reading I will be doing is Kings 1, chapter 2, verses 1 through 3. When the time of David's death drew near, he gave these instructions to Solomon his son. I'm going to the way of all earth be strong and be a man keep the mandate of lord your god walking in his ways and keeping his statutes commands ordinances and decrees as they are written in the laws of moses that you may succeed in whatever you do and wherever you turn and personally i think that the importance of this was like the instructions on like oh you're going to be okay just keep following the lord and personally i just think it's like the connection between father and son while king david is laying on his deathbed he's still able to talk to him and give him the last few words before he dies which is also kind of like preparing him for what's going to happen next after he passes and now for the wisdom books i drew when job had like boiling like red pots on his face and that's Job chapter 2 verses 1 through 7 and for the brief reading I will be doing Job chapter 2 only verse 7. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord and struck Job with severe boils from the soles of his feet to the crown of his head. And the importance behind this is like how the Bible shows that Satan is able to get to people and like curse them based on how life goes, like, it's still possible. And since it's still possible, it kind of shows how people are able to suffer from evil, Satan, the devil, stuff like that. It's similar to how some people get stuck in bad situations, like how homeless people become homeless. And for prophetic books, I drew when Daniel got stuck in the lion's den, which is Daniel chapter 6, 2 to 17, And the brief reading will be Daniel chapter 6, verses 16 to 17. But these men pressed the king. Keep in mind, O king, they said that under the law of the Medes and the Persians, every loyal prohibition or decree is irrevocable. So the king ordered Daniel to be brought and cast into the lion's den. To Daniel he said, Your God, whom you serve so constantly, must save you. And the reason why I think that this is important is because it shows um, Daniel's loyalty to God because he got thrown into the lion's den because he wasn't allowed to be praying for 30 days to God or any other person, and that it should only be to the king. But based on that, he still decided to break the law and pray to God because he was loyal to his faith and religion. And for the Gospels, I drew when Jesus was in the manger after being born. And the Bible verses is Luke chapter 2, 1 through 13. And the brief reading will be Luke chapter 2, 6 through 7. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And the importance behind the story is because it's literally the birth of God's son, which, you know, freed us from all our sins by him dying on the cross. So based on this, I decided to choose 
um, Jesus' birth because it was like the a new beginning. It was a new beginning because it was a new person, a new person under God, and a new way to get rid of all our sins. And now for Acts of the Apostles, I drew when Paul's ship got stuck in Malta. And the Bible verses are Acts 27, 27 to 38, and Acts 28, 1 through 10. And the brief reading will be from Acts chapter 28, 1 to 2. Once we had reached safety, we learned that the island was called Malta. The natives showed us extraordinary hospitality. They lit a fire and welcomed all of us because it has begun to rain and was cold. And the importance of this is how the natives were helping the people who ended up crushing on their island. Um, And it shows like the whole aspect of you should be helping your neighbor, your enemy, one another. And it just shows like all of the morals that God would have wanted humans to be acting like. Now for the epistle slash letters section, I did Paul writing letters and um, the Bible verse is Romans chapter 1 verses 1 to 15 and the brief reading will be Romans chapter 1, 8 through 10. First, I give thanks to my God through Jesus Christ for all of you because your faith is heralded throughout the world. God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in proclaiming the gospel of his Son. That I remember you constantly, always asking in my prayers that somehow by God's will I may may at last find my way clear to come to you. I found this to be important because it shows the connection between Jesus and the church. And I know I was talking about God in the letters, but I mean it in the way as in the apostle. Because since the apostle is connected to Jesus, in a way, it's also connected to God, which is why he was writing the letters to God. You know, everyone prays to God, um, such as Paul, the apostle of Jesus. And based on that, he it was like showing the connection between Jesus and the church since he is under Jesus as an apostle. And for the book of Revelation, I did Revelation chapter 8, 1 through 7. And for the brief reading, I'm doing Revelation chapter 8, um, verses 6 and 7. The seven angels who were holding the seven trumpets prepared to blow them. When the first one blew his trumpet, there came hail and fire mixed with blood which was hurled down to the earth a third of the land was burned up along with a third of the trees and all the green grass and the importance of this was the judgment of it because basically like there were seven angels in total and the first four ended up causing like a devastation in the land and even though it was harsh um the last three were even harsher and although judgment is kind of a broad term in the bible it's kind of showing how like judgment and like sins and stuff can be just as bad as that it's kind of metaphorical a lot of the stuff in the bible could be considered metaphorical but based on that that is the end of my final project t rod please give me an a